outside St. John Medical Center in Tulsa, where at least one patient is this midday. Max, you also spoke with the father of Adesha Chambers. What did he say? Libby, good morning. Adesha Chambers' father had no comments other than to say that he hasn't spoken with his daughter since the crash. He's been advised not to speak with us. We're here outside St. John Medical Center this morning where a patient that was in critical condition has been upgraded this morning to serious condition, so there is a bit of good news there. We can also tell you that three adults remain in critical condition this morning. They are at OU Medical Center in Oklahoma City. Uh, also there in Oklahoma City at OU Medical Center, there are three children still in the hospital. Uh, two are in fair condition. One child is in good condition condition there. There are also three victims at Stillwater Medical Center. We we're told two of them could go home sometime today. The other is also in good condition at Mercy Hospital in Oklahoma City. One patient there is in good condition. Back here in Tulsa, a patient at St. Francis is in fair but stable condition. We've reached out to that family for comments. They declined our request for an interview. And there are two more patients. Await we're awaiting word on here at St. John. Those patients' conditions are under no report, meaning that they've chosen to keep their conditions private. We are keeping in touch with all the hospitals throughout the day here on Two Works for You. As we get more information on those conditions, of course, we'll bring that to you. Live in Midtown, Max Resnick, Two Works for You.